I am a huge fan of westerns. I mean, Unforgiven, Tombstone, 310 to Yuma, some of my favorite westerns of all time. And until recently, there was no easy way to have an Old West shootout uh, in an airsoft game because you had to buy, you know, revolvers and there was really nobody with lever action rifles until now. This is one of the first lever action rifles that you can get stateside without having to order it from, you know, Hong Kong or Japan or some other place and waiting forever for it to come in. This is the Bravo Model 1892 lever action rifle. It's modeled after the Real Steel 1892, which was kind of the rifle that won the West. It was really innovative, very lightweight, and easy to maintain. The Airsoft version is just like it. I mean, it uses almost completely full metal construction, aside from the imitation wood stock and grip up the front here. In addition to that, I mean, it, you know, besides keeping the weight down and making it very realistic, they've also got a functioning rear sight as well as a fixed front sight. Now the 1892 is a gas uh, rifle, so you're going to need to load your green gas in the front of the barrel here. This little cap twists off with the flathead screwdriver that comes in the box. In addition to that, it is a lever action rifle, so all of your shots are going to take place one at a time. So one lever action, cocks it, loads around, and then fires it. Now once you've cocked it, you can decock the hammer by holding the hammer down, pulling the trigger, and then releasing it slowly. So that's a pretty neat feature because it doesn't uh, contain a safety. That's a good way to, you know, put the gun on a safe function without having to shoot a round off. Some other neat features they've included are the ring mount on the side here, so you can attach a sling or something else that you need to, to put on the side there, as well as an adjustable hop-up. Now, that's a really cool feature because most rifles like this don't, aren't going to have an easy to access hop up, but they've included an Allen wrench in the box to allow you to adjust the hop up very, very easily. Now, all the rounds are loaded in the side and the magazine is actually built into the gun, which is kind of cool. It holds 25 rounds and the BBs are inserted into the gun through this little port here on the side using the speed loader that's included in the box. And that fits in there pretty simply. You just insert the black plastic angled piece and then load your BBs on the side like that. So really simple to use, uh, contains a lot of gas and it's gonna last a long time. I'm excited to go to the shooting range because like I said, I love shootouts. So, uh, so let's go over to the shooting range and see how this fires. Also, a really cool thing you can do for your reenactments and stuff, uh, you know, if you're not doing a Western shootout, you're doing some like exp exposition shooting or you wanna show off to all your friends, you can always do one of those movie style Hollywood, you know, spins like that or do something like that. All right, enough of that, let's go to the range. Everything back there. 